what prompted you to get into this line of business? Um, the reason why I even went to IT, to be very sincere, I didn't even like IT in the first place even having to do it for my four years in campus. Um, I just realized you can do so much with technology and you can use it as a tool to develop so many solutions. My interest started developing when I was almost even about to finish campus, not even the initial stage whereby you have so much energy to, to take up the, the challenge. For me it came later when I got the exposure then I thought what am I not doing to the community? How can I give back to the community? So th that's when I thought about technology aspects. And I thought involving technology into the solutions that I have in mind. What can it do? What innovation can it bring? So there I went ahead and I thought, why not use the programming language that I have learned and I'm good at to develop this solution? High points and low points of your venture. Basically, as I've said, it's really a startup. So I will say the biggest um, maybe um, thing that has come along and motivator is people are approaching us, telling us uh, positive notes about the idea. They want to implement it. They want to understand how it works. They want to, to know more about M order. So for me, that is already a high note. People are already believing in my products. And that is the first thing you should drive in the market. People to believe in your product, to know it exists. Preach about it as many times as possible. Make people be aware of the product. So far, I'm getting it right. What is your hiring policy? We are two directors in the company and we also have other people working, partnering with us. So we have partners in the team, uh, like Crystal Genius, who are basically uh, partnering with us in the development aspect and customizations of the client's applications. And then we have, um, we, we really can't say we have um, permanent employees, but we have people who come and work on the systems as developers and people who do uh, part-time, who we have put there in place and we are we have like employed them, yeah. <laughs> How do you balance work and personal life? Wow, it's, it's quite heavy. I will say it's heavy. Trying to balance both equation and putting them on the table and say, I'm going to have personal life a bit. It's quite heavy, but the good thing is that for every entrepreneur outside there, just having the right team in place and delegation of duties, it gives you time for yourself too. So basically that's what I'm doing right now getting the right team in place, delegating duties, do what I'm meant to do, not what other people in the team are meant to do. And with that, at the end of the day, I'm able to balance everything. What are your future plans? The future, um, I, I don't want to talk about future. What I like talking about is the trend, because the future is big. If you want me to talk about the future, I can't describe it. What I can tell you is that five years from now, I see success of my products. And because I believe in them and I have a passion in them, that's why I see that picture. I see the trend moving from three clients to six clients, from six clients to maybe 10 clients. And that's how I want it, to go small. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I've taken a niche that not so many people are focusing on, on the small scale people. So that is where I'm focusing on right now. I want to help that person at the, at the lowest end in the community to be able to use innovation and bring about the sustainability that you're talking about. So for me, the reason why I'm seeing it growing in that trend is because if I'm able to focus on Mama Kamau, who is supplying vegetables to his clients around Gongrod, tomorrow I get someone else around there, then for me already, that is the future I'm seeing. What kind of CSR activities are you involved in? Yes, um, I'm actually involved in um, training programs of women in the community just to give back. Initiative of Strathmore University again. So we have Trainer of Trainees program which happens in Kibera, training women in Kibera in Kwanjenga. So I'm still part of those programs even after finishing my undergraduate program. And um, it's, it's a continuous process, so I get to visit the women and tell, more, tell, tell them more about technology. So my, my work is actually to evangelize technology. 
and to show people it's not only just a device that you use but you can use it to make more things so what you're doing right now with the trainers of trainee program we're giving the women computers to do a bit of packages just to train themselves and to know more about computer because you can't make a nice application like M order you go and sell it to the people and they don't even know how a computer looks like they don't know how technology looks like so you first have to introduce technology to them so that they understand it